Electric Outboard Company makes waves in Rhode Island with a brand new built from scratch outboard that you're going to want to see. Make sure to check out the rest of this video. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. If this is your first time here and you believe in continuous improvement, if you love outdoor adventures with your friends and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come. All right, the Rhode Island, I know, I guess is the name of this place. They've done this article, the Flux outboard motor after moving eastward Greenwich, Rhode Island a few years ago. Flux Marine has supercharged the business coming out with its debut at the Newport International Boat Show where Flux Marine notched a win for the electric boat motor. The company's leaders are looking forward to 2022 as they continue to grow their team, increase production capabilities, and create a nationwide dealer network. According to Flux Marine CEO Ben Sorkin, there is a huge demand for elective alternatives in recreation boating, but boaters are unwilling to sacrifice performance to go green, which I definitely agree with. They exhibited at the Newport and Nash Boat Show in Rhode Island they showed all of its new electric outboard engines. After five years of development, the 2018 Mass Challenge Boston alum is said to have completely reimagined the electric outboard motor from the bottom up. The reported resulted in zero emission motor with performance on par with traditional combustion models. Of course, Flux has competition in the electric engine outboard companies. Vision Marine also has a representative at the show, one of the largest events of its kind in the U.S., along with Exshore and other companies looking to offer cleaner alternatives to gas and diesel engines. Check out my video I did up here on e-propulsion. And I think how you say it, Torquedo. Here's another link for the Torquedo one I did. According to Cruise and World, Flux Marine's electric outboard engine was named winner in the highly competitive category with the most entries the best new boating operation, maintenance, or safety product, which is pretty cool. Hopefully these guys will be at the Miami Boat Show in a few weeks when I get there and I can try them out on the water. If you'd like to see me do a video of this on the water, let me know in the comments below. Better yet, tell the company and I'll be sure to do it. Judges noted that Flux's innovative built-from-the-ground-up design has the potential to revolutionize the electric outboard engine market. The engine's efficiency and performance statistics show that Flux could be a game-changer in electric outboard engines. Consumer demand for clean and sustainable marine propulsion options has been steadily increasing over the past few years and is very few companies out there with solutions, says Ben Sorkin, CEO of Flux Marine. I don't know if I believe that. There's a couple companies I just listed that got some pretty good products out there. We're fortunate to have spent some time with some of the other electric forces companies and are excited to see multiple companies working on innovative products. The Flux lineup includes a 15, a 40, and a 70 horsepower electric outboard available for pre-order for 2020. A 100 horsepower outboard motor demonstrated at the show delivers a range of more than 75 nautical miles with top speeds nearing 35 knots on a dual console. We have really designed the outboard from the ground up to be efficient and scalable. Scorkin says. We developed our own lower unit, midsection, drivetrain, powertrain, and cooling systems. No legacy combustion components are used in our design, which results in much better efficiency and significantly lower weight. Flux's 100 horsepower outboard weighs about 150 or less than half the weight of similar electric outboards, the CEO says. And the systems are said to be less expensive, about $12,000 for a 70 horse outboard, along with a $12,000 to $24,000 for the batteries, depending on the size and configuration. Who knows how long these things will last? Be sure to prepare to replace them every four or five years. Competitors will make other arguments about why their products are better. X Shore recently stepped up U.S. sales office in Newport, Rhode Island. But the main argument for electric boat engines is still the same keeping polluting gas and diesel out of the water with a product that requires less maintenance than legacy combustion engines. We believe that there is a tremendous market opportunity in marine electrification, but the right technology is the key to unlocking the op that opportunity, Skorkin says. Boaters do not want to compromise performance for sustainability 
and the importance of sustainable innovation is paramount. With the right tech, we believe there will be a handful of players that provide electric solutions to the boating market. Flux currently has prototype outboards cruising the waters of the Northeast United States. Much of the initial research behind the company's technology occurred on Lake Carnegie at Princeton University. That's an electric only lake, meaning that only quiet e-craft are allowed on its waters. There are a growing number of lakes that have banned internal combustion engines in the U.S., including the events like fishing tournaments, Sorkin says. I'll tell you what, I'm from Minneapolis and you can't use uh, gas outboards on the lakes here for probably like 30 years. The idea that the gas outboards are loud nowadays is kind of ridiculous. They're pretty quiet. And the whine of an electric outboard motor is almost getting to the point of being as loud as some of these really, really quiet outboard engines. Flux says outboards shouldn't have to sacrifice power. As marine electrification is becoming more mainstream, the importance of education and standardized information is crucial. We often see electric propulsion companies use peak power as the nameplate power and then mention continuous power later on. When a consumer has 100 horsepower engine that's gas, they should be able to replace that with the 100 horsepower electric outboard and get the same, if not better, performance across the board. What do you guys think about this video? I think that it's gonna be a while before these are like comparably priced to gas outboards. I'm excited, it'll be really cool. Uh, someday, you know, Elon Musk is going to make a battery that's this big that can power this thing for all day or something. Who knows? If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Also, take a look at this video that's on your screen. You're probably going to like that. If you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come, guys, and I'll catch you on the flip side.